Player YouTube, I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter board game every single day and give you my honest thoughts on how it's being ran every day at 2 o'clock uh, weekdays I stream, so be sure to check that out. And today, I'm very excited to be checking out Epic 7 Arise, the board game. First thing, the link down below is incorrect uh, right now if you're looking at this. Play as the heir of the con the covenant to put a stop to the endless cycle of destruction funded in one hour via kickstarter now i know that this is an io slash mobile game but i know nothing about said game it's already raised two hundred thirty seven thousand dollars. 16 days left to go and it looks to be a miniatures game now the other thing i noticed when i was looking at this on board game geek is that this is a first time game publisher uh, which is always something where it's like, ooh, they didn't just shop out the IP, they decided to design their own board game. So I'm very intrigued about that. Let's see how it goes. I, uh, so immediately one thing that always, I, I just feel like it's always better to have a voiceover in these videos than it is to have text. And it's just, I click on a video, and when I click on a video, I don't typically expect to read too much. Uh, it's not a big deal, but a voiceover there would have been awesome. And better yet, I think it would have added to the theme and immersion of me watching this video. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. I'm going to try this out. The arch demon sent by heroes to bring destruction to the world. Okay, too fast, too fast. The sixth world was destroyed, but Dish used the power of creation to restore the fallen world. The hair of Covenant and other heroes have reached the final battle. Epic 7-7. Seven, seven. Arise the board game. You know, it just it could have had, it could add some oomph, I think. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Oh. Too distracting. Too distracting. If you have ADHD right now, it's going to be so hard to focus on nearly anything you're saying to me right now. I'm going to try my best, but oh my gosh. Uh, it's, you know, Dan King, the Game Boy Geek, does great videos, but I can't watch his Skip the Rules videos ever because he has smooth jazz playing in the background. Completely distracts my ADHD brain. Not even joking. I don't watch Dan King's videos because of the smooth jazz. And so it's, wow. Okay, I'm going to try and focus. Let's go. Oh. Oh, are we gonna DJ? Like you just, you just a DJ there. Like I can't focus. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna try. But when he does that thing with the thing, oh. real intense mode. Ooh, okay. Wow, I got a lot of feels about this video. Oh, there's still 26 seconds. Is there, is there, is there teaser stuff at the end? Is Thor coming out? Oh, there's teaser stuff. What? Oh. OK. 
okay. Oh, expansion. <laughs> well, I haven't seen that before in a Kickstarter critique. That was nifty. Wow. I, um, I feel like there should almost be a seizure warning on that video. Holy guacamole. That was completely different. So, uh, the, the music was intense. The, it, it felt like I was watching anime. Now, I want to say right from the jump, anime is not... Uh, something I typically dub my toes into that often. So this did not particularly appeal to me. But, like, I think if you were an anime fan, like, oh my gosh. Like, that's, whoo, there's a lot to take in. I, I have no idea how to play the game. I know you, you move around, you beat stuff up. It looks like, whew, okay, first created zero backed. Easy way to fix this. Trick the system, game the system. Go back 40 things for a dollar right now. All of a sudden, first created, 40 backed, and you look like you're a member of the community. It's just like a little low-key thing. <laughs> it totally works. Uh, so let's see. Epic 7 Arise, the board game. It's a simple, fast, adventurous, cooperative board game where we meet monsters and kill and kill them, and it's definitely a must-have for anime fans. Every episode changes up the gameplay because it's own challenge and puzzle every time you sit down and play it. These are, these are pretty good quotes. Uh, I imagine these are previews, but still, those are very good quotes. Uh, manga and animation with dungeon crawler style board games. What's not to love? Yeah, these these are these are very solid quotes. Sometimes you see quotes and they won't be the best. Those are solid. They're not the best because they. I don't. I don't. I, uh, you know. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. It's an odd angle, though. I, 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 like, could we could we could we straighten that out? Because I really would like to see. Some more of the stuff, but maybe they, they're leaving me wanting more, but nope, that's not what I was trying to zoom in on. Uh, introduction. Epic 7 Rise of the Board Game is a tense thematic experience for 1-4 to four tabletop... For 1-4 to four player, uh, for one to four players. Tabletop adaption of the popular mobile game that pictures the heroes to... S pictures the heroes to save the seventh world from destruction. Uh, a co-op game of influence ranking with careful strategy. Use positional play for your character to aim for the highest score. Strike at the right time to become the grand champion in the team. So it's not, so it's like one of those uh, cooperatives, but there's still going to be one main winner, maybe? Story, Orbis has gone through many great wars of the Archdemons, and every time, okay, just give me the, the money. Okay, $95, and I like this. I like this. Uh, I, I, I don't like when people beat around the bush too much, and they, 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 they tickle you before they give you the price. Just hit me with the price. And I feel like you did that pretty early, so I'm not against this. This looks fine. $95, $120 for the, for the, uh, the expansion. Okay. Everything seems reasonable. I know some people are going to say that, you know, it's super expensive for a minis game. And, you know, uh, is it? Is it? You know, right now, you know, it's really hard. With minis games, it's just so hard to judge anymore. Because what is small? What is big? Like, what the, the bigger just keeps getting bigger. And so, like, that would mean that the smaller would keep getting smaller. And it shouldn't keep getting... Like, I don't know. It's such a weird, wonky world with, with miniatures games right now. But I feel like 95 and 120 is reasonable. Reasonable. I'm assuming there's going to be a whole boatload of miniatures here by the end. Gameplay. Cool. Gameplay. <laughs> Not what I expect from gameplay. This, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is not gameplay. What, what, what the hell am I watching? getting a copyright strike oh my gosh i gotta i gotta chill out with this i'm gonna get in some trouble uh i just realized that hopefully i don't get in trouble for this uh yeah that's that's not that's not gameplay of the board game at all i don't know what that is is that gameplay of the game itself but no that looks like just a cartoon i don't i don't know what that's that's not what i'm speaking okay here's gameplay speed the aura of hero monsters the order of hero monsters' turn will be determined by their speed. Their order will be shown on the enemy card with tokens and icons, which can be used for quick reference during battle. Monster attacks. During a monster's turn, its actions will be determined. Okay, cool. Moving pictures. This is good. I honestly would start off, though, with one of the videos. I see you have, like, I think you had, like, a five-minute uh, rules video I saw. Like, that would be a great one to put that there. Like, that, that goes into the gameplay. Uh, then have this stuff. Kickstarter, why back now? The exclusive stuff. So this is the exclusive thing. This is where they get you. Oh, that Ludwig miniature is hot. That Ludwig miniature. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, that's where they're going to get you there. Uh, but then the new encounter tokens, standees. Over 2,000 backers within 40 hours, every full pledge. Uh, Ludwig on throne, miniature for free. Very cool. Epic 7 mobile coupon receiving condition. What? Epic 7 mobile game coupon receiving condition. So this is for specifically for people, fans of the game. Cool. I've played games of this ilk, so that would get me very excited right there. Quite honestly, I imagine that this is why some people are going to pull the trigger right there because it's going to be like, well, you know, I might not play the board game, but at least I'll get, you know, benefit out of this and I can support them and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I've had that mindset before for a couple of games. Clash Royale comes to mind. Game component. Eight highly dear to toe. Uh, okay, eight. Plus so we got 24, so up to 38, 40 miniatures. I, I, you know, I feel like that's that's a good chunk of miniatures. Uh, encounter tokens, you got these. Looks good. This is great. Loving it. Pictures and everything. Expansion included. Side story! This expansion grows with the progress of the campaign. It contains... Oh! So this is a chapter-esque campaign? Yo! Mentioned this way earlier. You know, that's... You know, because I understand that you're here trying to get primarily your fans to back this. And that makes sense. you got a huge pool to go from. But from a board game perspective, there's some things, some th tweaks you could put in here or there that are going to be more likely to draw in potential board gamers who want to come along for this fun ride and maybe download your game as a result of it. Uh, and this, having a chapter-esque thing where it's like, here's the base game. You're going to enjoy the base game, but this is going to add extra chapters to the base game. They're going to connect together. That's great. This expansion also adds a new twist on the gameplay. The more okay, cool. Expansion game components, highly detailed miniatures, very nice minis. Wow, I gotta say, you're coming off the jump here. You know, you're trying to establish yourself as a minis game company potentially, and uh, this is this is a great start. Lots of good stuff here. New game components daily unlocks. This is great. Okay, this is how you're gonna keep people engaged, so you can keep yourself. Up high on the Kickstarter algorithms, day two. New R. Oh, so you're just unveiling. You're unveiling things every day. Wow. Goals and stretch goals. So this, this would be higher. Like, look right here. Look right here. I am more than halfway down the page. No. Kickstarter stretch goals are what's going to get your market excited. Bump these up. Bump them up. Because you are crushing through these. Yeah, you have what I call micro stretch goals, which are like, they're not the hugest. Uh, $5,000 and you get extra stuff. Now, for a campaign like this, they're not the hugest. But for a lot of campaigns, they'd be massive. But they are so far down. Yeah, look at this. Oh, bump this up higher. What I would actually do is if you want to conserve space and you're worried about doing that, just, just have one image. And, and that's the image of the game, which you did up there. But now say, here's all the stretch goals you got. Here's everything we've hit, and it's going to be an ever-increasing area, and you just set out your template with the backdrop, and you keep putting more and more stuff into it as you progressively grow. And then you can even keep this part down here, uh, but maybe maybe talk about the next stretch goal you're working on or something, because, yeah, well, what is this? Upgrade hero health tracking custom base. Yes, like this right here towards the top. Like, I'm to the point where we're talking, because that's, I love that. That is spectacular. To, you know, you know, Blood Rage, a lot of games have the things you have to click on there. Just get rid of that with that. Oh, love it, love it. But pump that up higher. New miniatures. Yeah, like that. Oh, totally be higher up there. Add-ons. You get the expansion, which you, I, I th that'd be odd. <laughs> Why would anyone get this in the expansion? Uh, I don't know. 95, yeah, because I feel like, yep, that's going to be the big one, 1873, and you have 96 people doing that. That's what I was expecting to happen. And it's nice and clean and clear over here. I love this. Very clean and clear. Only thing you haven't got to me, though, is the shipping. Hopefully the shipping comes very, very soon. February 2022, that's a realistic shipping date. Very realistic. A year from now. How to play in preview. Yes, excellent. Great. I would bump this up higher on that gameplay part. Uh, or this, either one of them. Man vs. Maple, looking good. Got the stuff. You got four videos. Awesome. All previews. But then again, you know, the game is brand spanking new. Shipping. Here we go. $23. Lower 48. Okay. Uh, you know, seems reasonable. 23 bucks. You know, it's high, but I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be boxes. Big boxes. So 23 bucks. Seems reasonable. Clean. Clear. Love it. One thing I always mention. For Hong Kong, Macau, convert it to their currency. How long does that take you? $18 to Hong Kong, Macau currency. Let's see. $18 to Hong Kong currency. Uh, 139.56 of that symbol. 139 of that symbol. There you go. Boom. 
And, and right there, that took me how long? That took me five seconds. That took me five seconds. But for those backers in Hong Kong, they're like, oh, cool. This person did that extra little bit. It goes a long way. I, I don't see people do it. It drives me nuts. It's so simple. Do their currency. Or just do, you know, uh, here, $18 slash 135 Hong Kong. You know, uh, well, what is FAQ. Uh, back to cool. You got a lot of questions here. Great. Updates for. I, no, Korea version is now available. Two more stretch goal unlocks and a new hero is on her way. Awesome. Okay. So we got stretch goals. Yeah. You're going to be posting every day. 12, 14, 15. It looks like it. Yes. Keep people. Consist 570 comments. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. There you go. I was on uh, I was on one earlier that uh, just said like the like comments section just keep it churning like this should be the spot where you for the time being for the next sixteen days if you want to talk about Epic Seven Epic Seven or Epic Seven Arise you should try and make it so this is the hub get people commenting get people talking about the game down here I hope you're doing that the rule booklet says you cannot exchange stuff like healing potions will heroes be able to transfer those less than a minute ago so I understand why they haven't gotten to it but could. Uh, please to make this project more. Where's the Where's the creator? There we go. Three hours ago. So very active comment section. This is great. Creator's pretty active. Looks good. Oh, looks good. So I would be doing a little bit more here. And, and one thing that I would say, and I say this every single time, and hopefully you 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 have more than one person doing this, is make it so that no 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 Chuk. Uh, I hopefully I pronounce your name Chuk. Um, Get get someone close to you. Get someone very close to you and say, hey, would you be just willing to handle my comments section for me? And let's see if I can do that right now. I'll be your person. Uh, this is a rule book question, so obviously you need to get that one. Please to make the project more visible, to, to be so kind of click visit project twice per day here. Uh, also, you can become a fan of BG by clicking on the heart. This can also help with the fragment project too. Oh, thank you so much, Aluro. This is spectacular. and We will be sure to mention this in the uh, next update. And if you, and if anyone, or if you have more ideas, please let us know so we can get more eyeballs on this. We are, we are insanely busy behind the scenes, but we absolutely love Kickstarter backers uh, getting getting involved. So thank you so much. Like, reach out there. Just say yes, because these Kickstarter backers, they want to see this succeed. They want all the miniatures in the box, and they're willing to put in that effort right there. Make sure you thank them, and make sure you, 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 you turn that into a conversation. Uh, say... What, what else do you think we could do, everyone? That's a great idea. Actually, Labyrinth is one of the coolest game modes in E7. Yeah, we agree here, too. It's one of our favorites, Winky Face. Uh, to be honest, Mark, Epic 7 is really safe to watch for kids. It has no sexual moments or something similar. The only thing is that some characters are a bit mm, boing. <laughs> uh, I don't think kids have a problem with bosoms as long as they aren't falling out. That's a whole other type of film. Next, uh, yes, we, we pride ourselves on having... Uh, I'm trying to keep sexual, blah, 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 blah. If that happens to be the case, then say yes. Put Faganix's mind at ease and potentially other people's mind at ease. Uh, dear team, uh, we'll keep that in mind. Thanks. So, great. You responded? Good. And look, look, because you responded, other people responded in as well. And you can, and you can use that necessarily maybe next time to even try and engage even more. Because that's how you take all those algorithms. Is one of the, the not unlock pledges a Diana miniature? Uh, <laughs> would you like to know? Come back and check out, you know. Or maybe you say, hmm, that'd be a super cool miniature. Wink, if it is. You know, anything. Anything like that. Uh, let's see. What will be able to put the address and pay for the shipping fees? With the pleasure. Of, so, Aluro, coming in strong again. He's, he's snatched up before you did. Uh, cool name, by the way. As Aluro said, yeah. You can enter. Great, great, great. Okay, thanks. Aluro. Maybe you reach out to Aluro and you say, hey. You want to remind us my comments, and I will give you a free copy of the game. Now, that's a crazy, crazy out there idea, but why not? I mean, you're, you already have 570 comments. you know, Or, or just say, you know, we'll put you in the credits of something, or anything like that. Uh, unlock another language is a great idea to increase the ability, the visibility of the game. Do you have in mind to unlock Italian language at some point in the campaign? Italian language is definitely one that we uh, we have near the top of the list. Or that's just a question you can say, hey, what's, uh, what's, what, what, what languages are we going to go for? Oh, Italian is one of them? Cool. Yeah, we have numerous languages, including Italian in here, but this would be a great question to put into the FAQs. Little things like that can make a humongous difference. Will PayPal be supported in the PM? Thanks, four hours ago. 
Uh, so yeah, I would totally reach out to someone else that you know and try and grab them and say, hey, would you be willing to help me with the comment section? Especially when it's just like PR and being nice and stuff like that. Uh, because running one by yourself, especially when you have yourself a big old hit right here, that can be daunting. And if you are have more people, that, and if you do have more people, <laughs> then get on doing more of that. I hope you're personally thanking every backer as well, like to reaching out to them. That's, that's one thing I always recommend. But overall... It looks like you have the pre-established base. They are here, 2000 strong. You got $238,000. I think you could try and appeal a little bit more to the board gamers now uh, and see if you can start scooping some of those up, those miniatures gamers who maybe download this game. Like, why isn't there a... Like, I didn't see a download. Like, I totally should see a download somewhere. You're like, download this for free on IS... Or, assuming it's free. I don't know how much it costs, but download it somewhere. Like, get me engaged in what it is. You know, I, I'm guessing that this is the anime that they were referencing to. It probably shouldn't be here in gameplay. It just seems a little bit out of place there. Uh, but overall, very well done Kickstarter uh, for most parts. Looks like a very solid first one, and I bet their second one is absolutely going to be just gangbusters. We're talking millions upon millions of dollars because uh, they're going to learn from a lot of this. But there you go. That is Epic 7 Arise, the board game. Still going really, really stinking well. $238,000 with all those stretch goals and things. I could see this one cracking a million. I really could. Looks really sick and cool. But there you go. If you enjoyed what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, be sure to check in every two every day at 2 o'clock. We do these on the weekends. It's a premiere. But during the weekdays, it's a live stream. So come on in. Have some fun. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube.